Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome to Man V Film. On this video, I'm going to be talking about the sequel to 2010's Monsters, which is Monsters Dark Continent, and I'll just prefix this by saying the gunman has a rival of worst movie of the year. Man versus film. Monsters arrived on the big screen in 2010 was directed by Gareth Edwards and it revolved a, a quite a good story about a meteor that had arrived on Earth brought some alien spores with it and that had infected city Mexico and had separated South America from America and had a good tale of this couple trying to make their way through back to the American border. And it was a small movie, it was a kind of, sort of romance type of thing and it had some interesting special effects and the cool thing about it is Gareth Edwards made it for under 500,000 and he did the majority of the special effects himself. So when the sequel was announced I was a little bit worried because it didn't have Gareth Edwards, obviously he got the job on Godzilla and was moving on to bigger and better things and you know I, I thought I had enough, it wasn't a big hit monster but there was enough in it to sort of get several stories out of it, you know, it's a, a world that I quite enjoyed and one that I wanted to see some fantastic monsters, some great creature designs and I thought, well, you know, that this could actually be quite good. Then I sat down in the cinema and the movie began. This movie is monsters in name only. Now, in the first one, like I said, it was contained in Mexico, along the South America and the American border and that was great, it gave us a home and where it was. Somehow, over the course of the past uh, five years for the first movie and second movie, the aliens have migrated to Iraq, no less, and that is where this story is based. It revolves around four young people from Detroit who are going to travel, uh, who have joined the army and are going to travel to Iraq to fight the monsters. But when they get there, they discover that it's not really the monsters they're going to be fighting, it's going to be the Iraqi insurgents who don't want people there. This is the main problem with the movie called Monsters. There is only monsters in the background. The monsters could be removed from this movie and it would make no difference to the story whatsoever. They're there only as a visual added on thought. Afterwards, you know, they're always in the background of the screen. Only once do they actually interact with a monster in one scene and it's probably one of the better scenes in the movie. Every other scene, the monsters are just in the distance doing whatever they're doing. The people involved in making Monsters that Gone, they obviously wanted to make a statement about the war and about how it has toll on the people that go over there, the soldiers, how it's toll on the civilians that live there. But that doesn't fit in with this science fiction story they're supposed to be telling. This is pretty much a war story and it's not a very good one at that. The characters are uh, all archetypes we've seen before. They're typical characters that go over there. They're self shocked by the actual war. You've got the, the, the veteran uh, commander who's leading them all, who eventually snaps under the pressure of the war, uh, PSTD, and that's the main plot of the movie. But it's not good enough. It's stuck between, it has to include monsters because that's the title of the movie, but it wants to be something completely different, and ultimately it's ruined any chance of this becoming a franchise. Uh, I don't know why they had to move the story to Iraq. It makes no sense in the plot whatsoever, have it contained where it was in Mexico. And if people try to get through it, attacked by all kinds of these strange monsters, it is a genre piece this should be. It shouldn't be a political message about war. Now the movie is two hours in length and it feels roughly about six or seven hours. It is so tedious. The characters are completely uninteresting. Their uh, motivations are non-existent. You're given very little background on these characters and what you are given is just staple points through their history. It doesn't build to any character pieces whatsoever. The one thing the movie does have going for it is the cinematography. Some of the shots look amazing and that's where it comes into my thought going, is this as bad as The Gunman? Is it not? Yes, it's shot well, but everything else about the movie is a complete failure from the acting, from the storyline, from the characters to the lack of monsters. If I was watching this in, in the house, I would have turned it off and I very rarely turn off any movies at all. I was constantly checking my watch Waiting for this thing to end, it is an atrocious abomination movie. This should not be watched by anyone. It is uh, pointless. I'm going to give Monsters Dark Continent 1 out of 5. It's completely abysmal and something that should be avoided at all costs. I'll see you next time at Man V Film, but hopefully I'll be reviewing a movie that has some merit. I will see you then.